fourth grade, lesson two, chapter two, and page 67. So have your books ready. And we're going to look at adding one to any of the digits on page 67. Could be one, could be a hundred, could be one thousand, could be one million. So four strips of paper are going to be needed. And you can take a minute, pause, and get four strips of paper ready. Let's read example one. On Friday, 1,323 people saw the new movie at a local theater. That was on Friday. Here's our number. On Saturday, 1,000 more people. One in the thousands. 1,000 more people than 1,323 saw the new movie. That was on Saturday. And on Sunday, 100 less. So we're going to take away 100 people saw the movie. Then on Saturday, we'll first have to add 1,000 to Friday. And then we'll have to take 100 off from that total to find out how many people saw the movie on Sunday. So four strips of paper. I'm going to switch to the doc camera and talk from a little bit of a distance. So you're ready with your strips. And let's switch. We're going to put our four strips of paper like this in each column. That would be the thousands column. Then we're going to cover the hundreds column. And we'll cover the tens column. And we'll cover the ones column. My strip's a little bit short there. All right. We're going to slide all of these strips up each of the columns so that we can see our number that we start with on Friday. On Friday you can see that we have 1,323 people. Now remember on Saturday 1,000 more. So we're going to slide up in the thousands and add 1,000. And you can see that when we add 1,000 to 1, well, one more, 1 plus 1 equals 2,000. So we had 1,000, now we have 2,000. So our answer for Saturday is 2,323. We have Saturday. We need to find Sunday. Let's go back to Sunday. On Sunday, 100 less people. So let's slide that one. We're going to slide that one down. We're going to slide down 100 less. So we need to subtract. I'll switch these around. We need to subtract 100 from the three. So we have 2,300. What is one less than 300? 100 less than 300 is 200. So we'll write in 2. And we need to keep our 1,000 the same, our 10s the same, and our 1s the same. And our answer is 2,223 people. Don't forget the comma for the thousands. So the number we started with, I'll slide these up again. The theater on Friday was 1,323. An additional 1,000 people, so we went up in the thousands, one, 
So 2,323 people saw it on Saturday. And then from Saturday to Sunday, there was 100 people less. So we keep the 2,000 in the hundreds, down one to 223. There's our three answers. We started with Friday, and now we figured out Saturday and Sunday just by changing one digit, one. Let's turn the page. Example two, Miss Starcher drew a puzzle on the whiteboard. The puzzle contains a pattern. Well, we're going to have to understand a couple words to be able to solve this puzzle. This puzzle, solve the puzzle. And the first thing we need to know is each number in the column. And the first column is right here. That's the first column. Columns go up and down, vertical, we call that. And what's happening to each number? Well, they have right here, plus 1,000, plus 1,000. So 78,000, 79,245, and another 1,000, 78,000, 79,000, 80,000. So each number in the first column is 1,000 more than the number in the row above it. We can see that because they have plus 1,000. Let's look at number two. Each number in the last column. Where's the last column? Well, here's the first column, and here's the last column. So we're going to be looking at this column. Remember, a column goes up and down, vertical. And here it's telling us plus 10. Each number in the last column is 10 more than the number in the row above it. Well, here's the tens. So from 25, 80,525, 80,535, and then 80,540. There's the tens. We're just going up a 10. We'll slide this up. I'll erase this. And we now know 79,245 plus 1,000 is 80,245. And 80,525 plus 10 will be that 30. Five. Don't forget 80,535. Each number in the last row is 10 more than the number before it. And since since Let's take a look at that. That says 100 right here. Check. 100. All right. Now we have to fill in our last row. This is a row. And so we're getting this row. 80,345, 79,245, and that will be right here in the first column, this one. So going down, we're kind of checking this. We're doing a check. Since, slide down, there we go. And 79,245 plus 100, is 80,345, then the answer in the first column is correct.
Now let's turn to some guided practice. I'll erase this. We can use scratch paper, we can use a place value, or if we can find our place, 1,000 more than this. There's the thousands. Let's add one there. So that will be a four and 872. 4,872. Ten less. We need to go to the tens and go subtract one. So subtracting one from the two tens will give us one ten, and we need to keep the hundred and the ones. Let's look at the next chart. Here's where we start. Let's start at 37,000. We're going horizontal, left to right. 37,000, 38,000. The change is 1,000. We want a add 1,000 or 1,000 more. Let's write 1,000 more, which is the same as adding. Now we have to go 100,000 less. Well, this is where we started. If we go 100,000, here's the 100,000s. We have to go less. That means that 8 will be a 7. Keep all the other digits the same. Comma, 174. Let's complete the sentence. Sliding up, 5 and 6. And 5 and 6, 36,000 plus 36,525, 36,600. We changed one in the hundreds plus 100, 98,000, 88,000. We changed one, we went down one. So we subtracted how many digits past this? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Ten thousand. Let's look at one on the independent page. And I'll erase this. Write each number a hundred less. Find the hundreds. Less. Subtract. That means that will be an eight. Keep the other digits the same. 37,872. You can be careful by adding like this, 10,000 more. So let's write 10,000 more than 374. We can always do an addition problem like this. 7301. Don't forget the comma. 10,000 more is 10,375. Keep up the great work, third, fourth grade.